What is good with y'all? It's your boy, Curdy Bo, and I am back with another banger, man. And in today's video, I'm about to be showing y'all how to use the echo effects on Band Lab, man. This is going to be one of the best tutorials out right now, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, man. We on the road to 20K. Make sure y'all stay tuned, man. We got many more bangers to come, man. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So I'm finna be using the Filter Echo Plus effects and where you can find that is in the d in the del damn <laughs> in the delay my bad this d delay just confused me but hey yeah filter echo plus man once you get that on there the filter echo plus is a good echo effects and really what it allows you to do it gives your vocals like a high quality echo effects i like to throw a little studio reverb with it just to make it sound a little better but um as y'all can see the mix is on like four percent or i like to keep it around 12 to 15 percent all this all this is just unnecessary it gets annoying through the songs yeah my feedback yo 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 so yeah i keep that around yo all right there about 67 percent not too bad on the feedback man we got the cutoff on one three Four, five, six, and um, we got our Sorry time about the on echo. I forgot to cut it off. But I'm gonna turn that down right quick because I'm recording. But um, now for my reverb, I just throw the mix on 14%. Now y'all probably like, y'all probably like, why is the um, mix so low on um, these effects? Well, it's because when you put the the mix on too high, it just it just ruins the whole quality. It just sounds weird. So I would like. I, what I do is I lightly throw the effects on, man. So, hey, um, yeah, man, we, we finna test out this filter echo, you know, get, get a good little feel of it. Show y'all how I get down with it, man. This is my one song, it's called uh, Fill Up A Pool. Um, I haven't dropped it yet, it's an unreleased song, man, but it's coming soon, make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna let y'all hear the echo, so let's get it. Now, without the echo, it doesn't really sound that bad, but as y'all can see, man, with the echo, it sounds a little bit more better, sounds more mixed, more professional. Another tip for the echo, for the noise gate, if the noise gate is too high, then the, yo, the echo is not going to go through, because what the noise gate is for, it, it cuts out any extra noise that's not supposed to be there, so it confuses the echo with, like, extra noise, and it just cancels it out, man, and you don't want that so that that's just another tip man but studio reverb filter echo and noise gate are really good presets to that work together to you know give you that good mix man that's gonna be the end of the video hopefully y'all enjoyed that man and make sure y'all stay tuned for more bangers man make sure y'all smash that like button smash that subscribe button man and stay tuned for more bangers man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one man cardi bow in this thing cardi bow out man peace